now we define here what is a critical velocity vc now we know that steady flow is a slow flow and a turbulent flow is a heavy flow as the speed of the as the velocity of the steady flow gradually increases at a particular velocity it may convert into it may turn into turbulent flow now the velocity at which the steady flow is turning into is converting into turbulent flow is called critical velocity so the critical velocity is defined like this the velocity of the fluid flow at which it is converting into steady flow to turbulent flow is called here critical velocity that is denoted with the vc thereafter here we discuss about the equation of continuity to derive the equation of continuity let us consider a tube of flow tube of flow means it is a group of streamlines or a bundle of streamlines a bundle of streamlines or a group of streamlines is called here tube of flow suppose this is a tube of flow these are streamlines now this is the cross section one this is the cross section two at a cross section one area is a1 at a cross section two area is a2 at a cross section one the velocity of fluid flow is a v1 at a cross section two velocity of fluid flow is v2 at a cross section one density is rho1 at a cross section two density is a rho2 and uh, here we apply the law of conservation of mass according to the law of conservation of mass how much mass of the fluid enters the tube of flow in a particular time same amount of mass of the fluid leaves the tube of flow in same time interval suppose in a time interval delta t the mass of the fluid that is entered at a cross section one is m in same time interval delta t same mass of fluid leaves the cross section two of the tube of flow this is the law of conservation of mass so according to law of conservation of mass here we say that how much mass of the fluid that enters the tube of flow in a particular time the same amount of mass will leave the tube of flow in same time interval delta t now <clears throat> how do we write the mass now mass can be written as uh, according to density formula density is equals to mass by volume mass is equal to density into volume now mass is equal to density rho into volume the volume can be written as a v delta t a v delta t a is the area of cross section v is the velocity and delta t is the time interval the velocity can be written as a distance by time distance by time time interval time interval cancelled now area of cross section to distance the distance uh, is like a uh, length of the cylinder area of cross section into length volume so you get a uh, density into volume now this is av delta t is the volume distance by time time is cancelled area of cross section into distance the, the distance like uh, length area of cross section into length that is volume now mass is equal to av delta t now mass that entered at a cross section 1 is a uh, can be written as a uh, rho 1 according to this a1 v1 delta t and uh, at a cross section 2 that mass mass that left uh, that is a rho 2 and area is a2 velocity is v2 time interval is delta t now this is a mass which is entered at a cross section 1 density rho 1 area is a1 and uh, velocity v1 time interval delta t at the cross section 2 density is rho 2 area a2 velocity v2 time interval delta t and according to law of conservation of mass what we know the amount of mass entered in a particular time is equal to the amount of ma mass left in the same time interval so rho 1 a1 v1 delta t is equal to rho 2 a2 v2 delta t delta t is cancel now we write rho 1 a1 v1 is equal to rho 2 a2 v2 now this is the equation of continuity for compressible fluids for compressible fluids equation of continuity can be written as rho 1 a1 v1 is equals to rho 2 a2 v2 now for incompressible fluids for incompressible fluids what is the condition for incompressible fluids and compressible fluids in case of incompressible fluids density is same at all points 
density is same at all points means at cross section at cross section to density is same at cross section and cross section to density is same that type of fluid is called here incompressible fluid means the fluid which has a same density at all points is called here incompressible fluids for example the fluid which we taken that is incompressible so at cross section 1 and cross section 2 density is same so rho 1 is equals to rho 2 if we substitute rho 1 is equal to rho 2 here rho 1 rho 2 will be cancelled then remains here a1 v1 is equals to a2 into v2 a1 v1 is equal a2 v2 from this we can also write a v is equals to constant area into velocity is equals to constant we can also write velocity is inversely proportional to the area or area is inversely proportional to the velocity now this is according to the equation of continuity equation of quantity for incompressible fluids is a into v is equals constant or a1 v1 is equals to a2 v2 for compressible fluids uh, rho 1 a1 v1 is equal rho 2 a2 v2 now we can apply this uh, in our daily life a inversely proportional to the velocity of the fluid when a tap is opened as the water is coming down its area gradually decreases why it happens like this as the water is descending water is coming down velocity is increasing as velocity increases area of cross section decreases that is the reason why according to equation of continuity as velocity increases density area of will be decreases now this is the tap from the tap uh, water is uh, coming out as the water is coming out as water is uh, coming down as the water is descending velocity is increasing if velocity increases according to equation of continuity area decreases so that the flow of water become narrow when it is released from a tap it is a uh, one application for equation of continuity